Lots of updates are coming out about Splatoon 3's brand new season being the fresh season in March, and that's coming up very soon, but there's one part of the update that continues to terrify me, and it points towards bigger things to come in the future, and that has to deal entirely with Salmon Run. Now, in the video I made yesterday, you guys really seem to love my companions I add on here, so that means- Does that mean you want me back? No, you probably don't know anything about Splatoon. You're literally a ghost from Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, you're right. I need someone experienced. I need someone with knowledge of the Splatoon world. I need somebody that has studied Splatoon non-stop. No, no. How would you just go with the dude that employed you in the first place? Because you tried to kill everybody? No, 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 no. Don't play me like that, bro. I tried to make everybody perfect, like me. Well, anyways, we're getting some new stuff in Salmon Run, which is pretty cool, and one of those new things is actually medals and rewards for playing with friends and playing through consecutive waves. I think it goes up to six waves in this brand new mode coming on March 1st, which is pretty exciting. But along with that brand new mode comes something terrifying, and that is a brand new King Salmonid in the form of Horror Boris. Nah, bro, I'm getting tired of these Salmonid. Like, what the heck even is that thing? It kind of looks like the Great Zapfish when we look at it, and it has like this long, eely body, and it probably flies through the air if I were to guess, and probably around the top of the stage, swooping down every now and then for us to hit him. Hey, check out the glowing spots on the side of his body. Boy he thinks he's a lantern or something. He does actually seem to have some type of glowing bulbs on the side of his body, which once again kind of reminds me of the great Zapfish. I wonder if there's like an inspiration from that at all, uh, but maybe we even have to shoot these things in order to pop them or stun him or phase him in order to drop him down from the sky and then wail on him as he's trying to get up. I hope it's more than just kind of blasting him over and over again like we do with the Kohozuna, so I hope we have to come up with some unique way to take him down as a team. That would be pretty cool. Because I'm sorry, Mr. Grizz, your method of taking down Kohozuna is just smacking it with our weapons and then shooting eggs at it. It just takes too long. It's just not that efficient. Boy, you keep running that mouth. You ain't getting paid for the next job. You hear me? I'm the only reason your butt's still alive. Actually, aren't you clocked in right now? We actually know this new boss is going to be tied into a new event. And you also can get a cool little trophy for defeating it, I guess. And this is kind of another symbol of what it looks like. It is some type of giant salmonid serpent. And it has some green ball in its mouth. Probably some type of- I got this one into no land. It's clearly Salmon Dookie. What? No! Why are you here? Sorry. Like I was saying, odds are this is going to be some type of new powerful attack. It probably can charge up and spit out, kind of like Rayquaza style. And it will probably leave a giant splash zone on the ground, just like the Splashdown special. But something is happening, and I feel like you're not expecting it, Mr. Grizz. There is a lot going on with the Salmonid, and there is something that they're planning, and I can feel it happening. We haven't seen the Salmonid this eager in a very long time, and I think you stirred them up. Business is business, man. I mean, at the end of the day, aren't you the one killing them? I mean, I ain't out there. Yeah, in fact, we are actually the ones that's doing all the killing, and I think it's gonna end badly for us. Yeah, we got rid of you for the time period, but we know you're still alive out there floating in space, and I don't know how you're talking to me right now. But at the end of the day, these Salmonid are not happy with what we have been doing to them for the last couple of years. We've been killing off their entire species, and they're getting stronger and crazier and more adamant on taking out Inkopolis. And of course, Splatsville. I mean, we always thought our major threat stayed in the single-player campaign, but this could actually be our our last major threat of the series, or at least the current series of trio of games that we're in right now in the current story cycle. Maybe there's one last ball salmon that they're going to send at us at the very end in one gigantic wave in a huge event to tie off this story. I mean, clearly we can see they're capable of sending out more King Salmonid. So how are they getting these things and are they making them in some type of lab and kind of engineering these Salmonid to be these creepy abominations? And if that's the case, what's next? So look, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I'm still in space still, thanks to your <clears throat> Agent 3. I mean, you already have one of those. Why is there another one? But anyways, he sent me into space and I ain't coming back anytime soon, so I could care less what them salmon do to you. You probably deserve it. But Mr. Grizz, you do realize that they take over the planet, you'll probably have nothing to come back to besides a whole bunch of smelly salmon -ed. And you do realize what I eat, right? I'm starting to see why you guys all fell for this. You guys are stupid. Wait a second. That's a good point. Why are we doing this? Because you get paid. Minimum wage, but you get paid. Yeah, but it's more about being paid. I mean, we caught you in your act. We know what this whole thing is about now, and this whole operation was just for you to take over the world and get rid of Salmonid and also use them in order to help you get to space. So why are we still killing off this species which actually hasn't done any harm to us? Actually, who the heck is telling us to do this now? Who's speaking to us? 
Don't worry about it, it's nothing, get back to work. I actually made a video a while back talking about a plan that the Salmonid could be conjuring up in order to infiltrate Inkopolis and Splatsville in order to take out all the Inklings and Octolings and other marine life there. I also consider there being some type of Salmonid queen or king, somebody that's sending all these Salmonid in the first place that will finally show up for themselves in the last final war. And I always thought about maybe at the end we end up taking the war to them, going to their home turf and taking out any Salmonid that we can find and also their king or queen and maybe that's the way we finally stop this. Remember the Great Turf War between the Inklings and the Octarians? What if this happened again? The Great Turf War 2, but this time with the Inklings slash Octolings against the Salmonid. Then at the end, one species will be driven off of the land and it will probably be the Salmonid because let's face it, we're winning this thing. Shoot, y'all better win for y'all's sake because I'm chilling up here. I think it would be really cool if the final event of Salmon Run was based on a bunch of missions that you can complete with your team and the final mission is the final boss, which would be the queen or the king of the Salmonid. This would be awesome, we've seen stuff like this in Metroid Federation Force and even the Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes. Now I know these games aren't great examples because a lot of people don't like them, but you get what I'm talking about. Having your little team and completing missions together is still super satisfying because look, these games were not as bad as people made them out to be. It seems like we're coming to a close with everything in general, I mean we see the whole story arc with the agent and Captain Cuttlefish came to a close with obviously you, Mr. Grizz. Yeah, 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 for now. Wait until the fourth game. It also looks like the Agent 8 story arc with Pearl Marina is going to be coming to a close as well as it looks like they are returning for the brand new DLC coming probably later this year. So all this leaves is Salmon Run. How is this going to end? Are we going to end up attacking them? Is it going to end with one final war? How is this going to go? Are we going to become friends? What about that stupid baby Salmon and you had to fight me? I mean, where did he go? Can't you have him go talk to his family or something? Stop the war? Stop them from coming? You can end all this in a second. I mean, if you don't need them anymore, you can send them up to space. I'll have a talk with them. I mean, I'm pretty hungry up here. I'm in lonely. Give me the salmonid. Wait, hold on. Scoop back for a second. You're all in my face. Your breath stinks. Smells like fish. Okay, let me go get him real quick. That's actually not a bad idea. Hey, little buddy! Come here real quick. I gotta ask you a question. Okay, he's coming. <sighs> Okay, so we need you to go talk to your salmon and family and tell them that we don't want to go to war anymore. So all you have to do is just go into the water, tell them that we can stop all this right now. Do you understand? I like popcorn. Nope, that was a terrible idea. Yeah, no, this, this is not gonna work. But we also have some additional news on other updates coming for this season. For instance, we can now have open lobbies that's only joinable by code, which means we can have anyone play with us, especially if I decide to stream ever again, we can all play together, which would be cool. Also, the long-awaited jukebox is coming into the lobby area, which means you can play music in the lobby, whatever you wanna hear, you can play it there. And you can also play it in private matches, apparently, which is pretty cool. I wish you could also play it during public matches and just have your own song playing, like you have your own iPod and you're just jamming out to whatever music you want that would be really cool but maybe eventually wait a second is that timmy turner no that's not timmy turner how do you even know who timmy turner is i was in that stupid astronaut spaceship for ten thousand years what do you think i was watching Oh yeah, we're now able to play Table Turf War Battle online with others, which is a pretty neat update that people have wanted for a while. So Nintendo's actually adding a lot of stuff to this game, and we just started only on the second season now. So there's a lot coming in this update, and I like the addition of King Salmonid and hope to see a lot more King Salmonid added in the future. This is really starting to feel like a grand wrap-up of a great three-game trilogy so far. Yeah, but I'm coming back.